Good evening everybody and welcome to Direct Drive Hub's uh, Tuesday night's uh, theory workshop. I hope you are all well um, and enjoying this lovely weather we are actually having over the last few days. God damn, I'm sick of the, the rain and the damp, but hey ho, never mind. Um, so, tonight uh, we're going to have a look at mirrors tonight. Uh, we'll be speaking about communication uh, on the past two workshops. We um, we looked at indicators a fortnight ago, the use of indicators, and we kind of went more into general um, communications and signals that came last week. Um, so hopefully that was some help to you. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to have a look at mirrors. Um, I think mirrors, again, is, is one of those things that can quite easily be misunderstood. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> so why are mirrors important? Uh, well, we need to know when we're driving, okay, what is going on behind us and to the side of us behind us. So, you know, it's going to be really important, okay, to know what's there before we actually change anything. We talked about the communication side of things last week. So, before we give any communication to other road users, the first thing we should always do is check that it's going to be safe to do what it is we want to do. So... It's not just about what is ahead of us and looking ahead, it's also knowing what is to the side behind us so we have that all-round vision, that all-round understanding and knowing what's going on around us all of the time. So yeah, you know, making sure that what we're going to do or what we want to do is going to be safe. Now I think this is where one of the big areas we see go wrong with mirror checking is people are checking their mirrors too late. They're either checking their mirrors as they're doing something or after they've done it. Which, if you think about that logically, okay, that's no good. You know, if you check your mirrors as you're doing it, then all you're going to see is the problem that you're causing. Uh, afterwards, you're just going to see the devastation that you've left behind, if you like. Hopefully not drastic, but okay, you kind of get the drift. So, it's all about checking the mirrors before. And I think that's the main thing to remember is mirrors okay need to be checked abbreviation before you all right and this is the key thing if you look at a driving test and the way an examiner marks a driving test okay this is the key thing that an examiner is going to be looking for when you're on your driving test is making sure that you are checking your mirrors before you do things. So as far as an examiner is concerned, if you check your mirrors as or you check your mirrors after, the examiner then is, is going to mark you down for not checking your mirrors. Now I've heard comments over this one, okay, for years now. Uh, and it's something that, you know, I've told all my pupils in car with them. All right. You know, you, you hear the story where unfortunately a pupil has failed their driving test, okay, for not ch not checking their mirrors. Um, you know, it's a common one I've heard a lot over the years um, where they turn around and say, I don't understand, okay, why the examiner's failed me for that and give me a serious mark, okay, for not checking my mirrors. I was checking my mirrors all the time. So this is the important thing, okay. Yes, you might be checking your mirrors, but if you're not checking your mirrors at the right time, then it is a problem. So we are looking for you checking your mirrors, okay, before you do anything. So what are the key times for checking your mirrors, all right? So if we look at maybe the majority of the key times, this will probably cover 85% of your mirror use. And if we can start getting 85% of your mirror use right, then obviously we're more than there with it and that okay the last 15 percent okay can come in and i'm sure again your driving instructor is going to help you with this okay so just looking okay when we check our mirrors so the first one is before we move off if we're moving off from the side of the road whether that's the left hand side of the road or the right hand side of the road okay we need to check our mirrors and we also need to be aware of blind spots as well so it is a little bit of an old-fashioned way of thinking about things okay is back in the day we used to obviously say do a six point check um, 
And I know for a lot of driving instructors and things like that, they might say, well, no, that's a bit old fashioned. But do you know something? I actually like the six point check. And what the six point check is, is checking over your left hand shoulder, okay, into your left hand blind spot to see what is there. Checking into your left hand door mirror to see what's coming up the side. Maybe a cyclist up the pavement or something like that. Checking your interior mirror to see what's happening directly behind you. Checking your right hand door mirror to see what's coming down the right hand side of you. And then over your right hand shoulder um, before uh, it's that blind spot. Okay. <clears throat> so you, by doing those six points, okay, what you've actually done is you've completed pretty much a 360 view around the car before you think about moving off. Now I think that is a great method to still use because obviously danger can come from any angle. So if we are getting into the habit of doing that full sweep check around, we know exactly what's around us before we move away. Give an example, okay? Quite common I've seen, you know, it happened to me, all right, seen it happen to a pupil. Um, you're moving off from the left-hand side of the road, you're just looking ahead, okay? Checking your right dormer and a quick check over your right shoulder. Oh yeah, it's nice and clear and you move away. And at that same very point in time, all right, a cyclist is whizzing down the pavement on the left-hand side, decides to cut in front of the, your car to go to the other side on the opposite pavement. Now, because, okay, we just looked ahead, checked right door mirror and, and checked over our right shoulder, that cyclist coming down the pavement on your left-hand side, you've not even registered. So all of a sudden, okay, you're just you're on that moment of moving off and you've got a cyclist, okay, in front of you. So if you'd have checked over your left hand shoulder and your left hand door mirror, you would have seen that cyclist and possibly thought, right, I'll just pause a moment just to see what that cyclist is gonna do. So I think it's a really good idea, okay, to get into that habit of doing that full check around. All right, if you're over on the right hand side of the road, okay, it's obviously something we do nowadays where we're parking up on the right hand side of the road, then just do your observations the opposite way around. Start from your right shoulder right door mirror, road ahead, interior mirror, left door mirror, left hand blind spot, okay? So the way I think about that, okay, is you're gonna check the roadside last. So if you're parked over on the right, okay, your left hand blind spot is gonna be your last check. So you're seeing what's coming down the road. If you're parked over on the uh, left hand side of the road, then your right hand shoulder, okay, is gonna be your last check. Again, so you're looking to see what's coming down the road, okay? The roadside is going to be likely to be the most dangerous side, so that wants to be probably the most current, all right? So just think about where you're parked, where the dangers are, and think about which way you're going to do your observations on. One other thing I would say on that, okay, is obviously when you're pulling off on a busy area, what you don't want to be doing, okay, is just keep checking around and around, okay? So you, I don't know, you're like some mad nodding dog, if you like. So just use your mirrors, okay? Get the car prepared and ready to go, okay? And use your rear view mirror or your right door mirror to see what's coming down. And then you'll see a gap possibly coming up behind you. So just before that gap gets to you, you're doing your observations. So whilst you're checking over your last bet, over your right shoulder, for example, that cars are passing you. You can think about whether you need to give a signal or not, and you're off straight away. So you don't have to keep doing your observations over and over again. So think about the observations and think about the dangers and the things that you need to look for before you move away. Okay, changing direction. There's the next one. Um, so we could be changing direction for several different reasons. It might be that we're driving down the road and we've got a parked car and we need to move around that parked car. Or it might be that we're deciding to change, go from a left lane into a right lane or a right lane back into a left lane or whatever. So again, we need to check those mirrors before we make that move to make sure it's safe, it's okay. So before we move to the right, we want to be checking our interior mirror and then our right hand door mirror. Seeing that it's nice and clear, so it's safe, we know it's going to be safe for us to move into that new piece of space to the right of us that we want. So that, that mirror check must be done before we make that move. Okay, the same as when we move back to the left, interior mirror, left door mirror, let's have a look to make sure it's safe. So again, we know it's going to be safe to move back into that piece of space to the left before we actually do it. Okay, so, you know, direction change could be, you know, whatever movement, for whatever reason you're making that movement before you move to the right, before you move to the left, okay, 
check the mirrors first. Interior right for right, interior left door mirror for left. Okay, um, turning left or right, okay, so, you know, junctions, okay, turning left into a road. Now again, we use a routine MSM mirror signal maneuver. Now, if you think about the MSM routine, um, let's just think about this one because I think it's an important one. Mirror signal maneuver. So we're checking our mirrors, making sure it's safe before we do anything we want to do, giving a signal and then carrying out the maneuver. So if we're going to be turning left, you're going to be checking your interior mirror, your left hand door mirror, seeing what's directly behind you, what's down that left hand space behind you, cyclists coming down, something like that. So we're making sure that it's going to be safe for us to make that turn. Then we're giving the signal, aren't we? We're informing other road users that we're going to make the change. So I think the important thing here to remember is we need to first of all make sure it's safe to do what we want to do by checking mirrors and looking ahead and everything before we give the signal, before we tell other road users that we're going to do it. There's no good you putting your signal on first and telling everybody that you're going to be turning left or whatever then checking your mirrors afterwards and thinking, well, hang on, it's not safe for me to do this. I've got a cyclist about to come down my left-hand side. You've already now created the problem as far as that cyclist is concerned because he's now seen your signal and possibly panicking because he thinks you're going to turn across him. So again, mirrors should be the first thing that we're checking to make sure it is safe before Secondly, all right, we are giving that signal. So there should be, I don't know, a one to two second gap between you checking your mirrors and giving the signal, okay? Because obviously you need to check your mirrors, you need to obviously just make sure that, you know, take it in to make sure everything is gonna be okay before you tell everybody else. So if you're turning right, it's interior mirror, right hand door mirror, signal right, okay? So if you think about just to complete your MSM thing, checking your mirrors to make sure it's safe before you do it, signaling to tell other road users what you're going to be doing, and then we're ready to start the maneuver. Now, that signal, okay, particularly traffic behind, is aware that you're gonna make change. So when you start to break and they see your brake lights, they're actually expecting that, they're prepared for that to happen because you pre-warned them by giving your indicator, by signaling left or right, whichever it is. So your brake lights, okay, are not a, sh a shock or surprise to that driver behind because the signal is pre-warned them and say, look, I'm gonna be turning left, so now be aware. And they're ready for your maneuver. So you can see how logical this routine actually is, okay? Um, overtaking. So yeah, again, it's overtaking, it's like passing a stationary car. If you're passing a stationary car or passing something on the, on the move, we're still checking our mirrors, okay? Interior mirror, right door mirror. Is it safe to move out? Making sure that nothing is coming down that right-hand side trying to overtake us before we move out. I'm sure we've kind of seen that quite a few times where a car in front is starting to pull out and you see another car coming down. So check your mirrors, interior right, make sure that you know, that say um, it's safe before you pull out. Pull out and then obviously you're overtake. Okay, interior left door mirror before you come back in. Make sure that when you've come back in after that overtake, you've given the clearance on that vehicle that you've overtaken. You're not cutting straight right in front of them where you're gonna cause them a problem. We gotta make sure that we passed, cleared it and come in. So checking those mirrors to make sure that it's gonna be safe to do that. Um, so, slowing and, and stopping. Yeah, here's, here's one, okay, again, all right, and I think this is probably one of the common ones that we tend to see get missed a lot. Checking the interior mirror before slowing down, before stopping, okay? Um, why is it important? Well, you know, if you've got something, something driving very close to you, 
you may need to obviously give more time to slow down to obviously prevent that vehicle behind going into the back end of you. So checking your interior mirror. So if you've got something very close behind, then you might want to then consider slowing down earlier and obviously slow down more gradually to obviously give that vehicle a chance behind so it doesn't cause you a problem. So again, all right, checking your mirror. Think about what's gonna cause you to slow down. So you're driving along, okay, you're reading your road signs, seeing what, okay, hazards might be ahead, and even looking at the vehicles in front. So if you see the vehicle in front start to brake, as soon as you see a hazard, okay, check your interior mirror. Something I say to my pupils, hazard equals interior mirror check. So anything there that potentially could slow you down, go and check your interior mirror. So if you need to take action, you know what's directly behind you. All right, the same as speeding up. There's another one we don't think about so much, but we should be checking our mirrors before increasing speed. All right, we've got a road, okay, near us, okay, where it goes from a 30 to a 60 mile an hour road. Now the 30 stretch, okay, is actually passing uh, an industrial area. And rightly or wrongly, okay, a lot of people, okay, are actually increasing and doing way more than 30 in that zone because it's, I don't know why, they just feel that it's, you know, the problem we see there, okay, is we're coming up to the national speed limit sign, all right, but we've got traffic, okay, about the way we take us. Now, the last thing we want to do is suddenly increase our speed and start increasing our speed up to 60 mile an hour when we've got a vehicle about to overtake us. That now might make it difficult for them to get back in, in front of you, before oncoming traffic. Regardless, okay, whether they should or shouldn't be overtaking, the fact is, okay, a driver is doing this, all right? And obviously what we don't want to do is cause a problem which could re result into an accident. So again, checking that mirror before you increase speed so you know what's um, going on. Um, I think another one as well, okay, is obviously, you know, before opening your car door, before you step out. Uh, so again, so I see this pretty much on a daily basis, driving down the road, okay, we've got lots of parked cars on the left-hand side, and all of a sudden, somebody opens a car door without looking. And you should, okay? You know, before opening a car door, okay, whether you're on the road side, the driver's side, or even on the passenger side, okay, check your mirror, make sure it's safe to open your car door. There's nothing coming down the road side. There's no pedestrians coming down on the pavement side, okay, where opening your car door is gonna cause a problem to either side. So always have a look, okay, in your mirror, over your shoulder, and check. Okay, so, you know, there's other times, okay, where we do need to check mirrors, okay, I'm, I can't cover all scenarios, but I think the three key areas you wanna be thinking about, okay, with mirror check, okay, is, um, so you want to check your mirrors okay before you give a signal check your mirrors before you change direction and before you change speed. So those three categories, okay, are gonna probably cover roughly about 85% of your mirror checks. And the key thing is we said what we started with is checking those mirrors before you do those things, all right? So before you give a signal, before you indicate, before you change direction, whichever that might be, moving left, moving right for whatever reason, before you're changing speed, before you slow down, before you speed up. And if you start getting those mirror checks in, before you do those three things, you're 85% there with all your mirror work. Again, it's, it's something that like I said, okay, about your signals, okay, on the previous workshop. Mirrors, it shouldn't just be this, um, subconscious thing that we do, okay? And this is where problems come in and out, okay? We need to be conscious of checking the mirrors and giving the signals and doing these things. So we're actually conscious of looking in there, seeing what's in those areas to make good decisions. And the more conscious we are of the things that we do, 
then you're going to find, okay, we're going to make much better decisions and much safer decisions, okay, when we're driving. Right, so that pretty much covers it for the mirrors in this week and all that lot, okay. Um, I did mention last week, guys, okay, is uh, send questions in. If there's specific, specific things that you're doing, okay, on your driving lessons or on your theory that you want us to speak about and obviously maybe put a bit more detail in to help understand, okay, please get in touch and let us know. We'll be more than happy, okay, to do that. I've already had a few questions in, um, so I'm actually going to have a look at that and probably actually put those questions together, possibly for, for next week's um, theory workshop. So if you've got any questions and all that lot, then yeah, let us know. Uh, we'd love to speak about it, okay, obviously, hopefully this is all there to help you guys. So remember, I say it every week, all right? Like and share the video. If you know anybody that is learning to drive or who wants to learn to drive, then let them know about, okay, our theory workshop, okay? Get, get them um, over to our Facebook page. As you say, you do not have to be one of our customers. We are happy to obviously help everybody here. At the end of the day, I think if we can obviously offer some help, okay, to help you guys make better progress and bring things together and make you safer drivers, then we are doing our job, okay, which we set out to do. So yeah, let people know, okay, about us, okay, share and like this, uh, and it would really, really help us out. Alrighty, um, hope you all have a good week. If you're at Guy Fawkes night tonight, okay, enjoy, be safe at the uh, bonfire, and we will see you at the same time next week. Bye.